right. Welcome to New Mexico. Made it. <laughs> I don't know if that's the highest peak right there or what, but we're gonna find it. Let me go in here and see if I can find a map. Let's hope nobody steals my crap. to Pine Spirit Springs Campground. I just have to pick a site. If there's any. I think the only other campground here is like 60 miles on the other side of this, this mountains. There's me going. 16. Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Um, I should probably zoom this thing up to show you, but there's gonna be some serious hiking tomorrow. I'll be dead. So, but anyway, I got lucky. I think there were only like two tent sites left when I was looking. So, see how it goes. I wanna do hiking tomorrow, but there's also, uh, I think it's Frijoles Ranch. It's supposed to be dirt roads to ride, so hope to do that some tomorrow too, or maybe the next day, so, but. Hang in there. This is going to be good. Later. Okay, decided to fix some supper. Um, I was breaking out the jet bowl. I want to cook something. And I stopped at the academy and got this stuff on the way. Uh, and this doesn't take boiling water. <laughs> it comes with a heating pad and the food is sealed up in a separate bag. So I'm going to try it. Maybe it'll work. We'll see. It says you you fill it up with water to there, drop the food in it, then you open up this heating pad, drop in there, and wait five minutes. <laughs> See if it works. <laughs> Holy crap! It's boiling. It's steaming. <laughs> just may work this was a uh, I think like eight bucks uh, which is comparable to like mountain house and all the other dehydrated foods but this came with a, a spoon napkin salt pepper 
heating pad. I don't know. It's been about five minutes, so time to see what it's like. Feels hot. It's actually really good. It's hot chili beans with turkey. And it's getting pretty chilly. The wind's picking up. This is good. I think I'd do it again. You know what? This heating pad's interacting with the, it's reacting to the water somehow and making it hot and steamy. But I'm gonna save that. Oh, just a hug. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if you can see me, but uh, the park ranger said we were gonna have. Pretty big winds and it lights bright and uh, you're not kidding it's five in the morning it's like I'm on top of Everest or something I'd say all my guidelines are off but stand by here you'll see it ten almost lays plumb over it's already, I can tell it's pulled loose and I got out last night and tied rocks to the guy lines but we'll see I'm trying to block the wind I don't know if you can see it down in the bottom that's a, a dust storm of biblical proportions it's insane okay hope you can hear me now but let me get where I can block a little wind. Okay. Well, last night, a uh, windstorm came in, and it's pretty much sustained 40 to 50 mile an hour winds, and it says 80 mile an hour gusts. And I'm telling you, it was 80 mile an hour gusting it, because my tent was just rocking and rolling and laying on its side and, but uh, the, I had to get out and redo the guy wires they pull out of the ground so I put them back in the ground and I put rocks on them and I built a windbreak out back to sort of help that but uh, man 80 mile an hour wind gusts at 9,000 feet up on the side of a mountain <laughs> it's what it is I guess so I believe I'll get ready and get the trail I've seen a few other tents that's pretty much mangled here uh, 40 and 50 mile an hour winds 80 mile an hour gusts it's, it's crazy but what's even stupider is I'm going to getting ready to hike up on that mountain. I came all this way to do this. There's no way I'm not. Alright, later. The peak's only eight and a half miles. So, there's longer trails. But this is the one we want. So let's go for it. 
try to block the wind it's bad but now you can see the dust storm down in the bottom I mean, it's, it's like a mummy And I'm liking it. <sighs> okay, I'm really not in good enough shape to do this. I think it's the cold. It sucks the wind out of me. Uh, but down in my campsite, my, my GPS said it was 5,700 feet. Uh, I think that means <coughs> I have to climb 3,100 feet to get to the top. So keep on booking it. Way, way worse. Got two guys coming up behind me. A little past me. Over. So those other two guys are right on my heels. Now it's a pride thing. Get to the top. Second one there. Maybe I maybe I'm coming in second place. Tell you what, I'm beat. It's like stairmaster times 20. Falling wouldn't be good right now. Now the wind's picked back up. And now in a good part. The wind is actually unreal. When I was down there, it was blowing up out of that canyon. Like it's gonna blow me off. I'm breathing like I'm giving birth. Oh, oh when I turn this corner. It's going to get really bad. Oh. Yep. Holy crap. Please don't tell me that's the beach.
ain't gonna make it. That's insane. It's just pulling right up out of here. Unbelievable. Try to catch between wind gusts and move. Oh my god. You got snot everywhere. Alright. I'm gonna put the GoPro up and get you moving. Later. This is This is something stupid I do. I mean, it's like when you get out of these wind breaks, it's gotta be wind. And every now and then you get hit by one of those major gusts. This is a welcome part of the trail though. These trees, trees are breaking the wind for me a minute. All right, here we go. This is where I get hit by that 80 mile an hour gust. This has turned into a survival mission. Oh man. I can't even imagine what it feels like for those people who climb Everest and McKinley. Wind. I don't know how they do it. They have to rope off. I think I can sit here until this evening when the winds die and then finish. So. I gotta make it through that gauntlet. And you think the next peak is it. And there it is. Oh, crap.
a windbreak. Yes. Holy shit. Don't look down. Eastern slope of the mountain. So I got a little bit of a windbreak. Until I get up there. Look at that view. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Here's where we're going. Be so close. I was talking to those other guys. They said they, they couldn't stay up there for just a minute. They said it had blown down. So. Alright. I'm dreading turning that corner. I think I'll let these guys pass. Enjoy a, a break. Try and turn the camera and show you. I don't know the trail. Alright. Uh, don't get blown off this stupid edge. I don't even know if this is it. Break. I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm going to be getting close.
เฮ็กหน่อยเราจะไปที่นั่นไปที่นั่นไปโอเค